Kyle, you, you record. Thank you. Thank you, Kyle. Okay, um, I'm going to start the uh, Arts Commission meeting, uh, starting with myself, Mark Allen, I here, and uh, Brian Casper. Brian Casper, voting member, present. Thank you so much. Brian, uh, Nori Gruden. Here. Okay, thank you. Um, uh, Melissa Matuska. Um, I I just unmuted. Mm. Melissa, are you able to unmute yourself? Or Kyle, can you unmute Melissa? Uh, okay. She is unmuted, so if she, uh, I don't know if her she has a microphone, maybe that's not working. I'm not sure. Okay. I'm not sure if she can hear us, but um, oh, looks like she's on baby duty. Yeah, the, well, the, the chair recognizes that Melissa Matiska is here at the meeting. Hopefully, we'll hear from her soon. Um, Jana Evelyn. Here. Voting member. Thank you so much. Uh, Elizabeth Tardif. I'm here. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. Um, I see Cheryl Tedesco is here. Um, okay, I, Bob, Bob Abriel, I don't see. And um, Stephen Russ, I heard from by email, he's going to be unavailable this evening. Uh, he gave me an update on his uh, the lighting for the MLK project. So I'll, I'll hit you up with that later. Um, Okay, very good. Um, so let's see how many voting members do we have here? I think we have a quorum. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we, we're, we're good as a quorum. With, we're good. Okay, um, Kyle, are you able to put up the uh, agenda on the screen? Yes, give me one moment. Thank you so much. Of course. Sorry. Um, Can everyone see that? Yes, thank you so That's much. Great. Okay, we've called the meeting to order and we've taken a roll call. Um, do we have anybody here, Kyle, to your knowledge, um, that uh, as a matter of public participation? Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's here. I see uh, someone in a meeting, uh, Donna. Uh, is Donna here as a public for the public to speak to the commission, or is this for a, an agenda item? I'm um, sorry. First, the Dragon Boat Trophy. Okay, copy that. Thank you so much. Um, okay. Um, uh, has everyone had a chance to review the minutes of the April 5th, 2022 regular meeting? Yes. And did anyone have any issues with that, that or corrections? Did anyone have any uh, corrections or additions or amendments? Uh, do we have a motion to approve the minutes as uh, written here? Brian Casper, I motion to approve these minutes. Thank you, Brian. Is there a second on that motion? 
I'll second. Thank you, Janet. Um, so we can call the uh, call the roll for the vote. Um, start with myself, Mark Allen, I. Um, Janet, I'm assuming you're an I. Yes. Thank I. you so much. And uh, Brian. Brian Casper, I. Thank you, Elizabeth Tardiff. Yes, I was not here, so I should probably escape. Okay, so you would abstain from that. Um, Nori Gruden. Aye. Thank you so much. Uh, Melissa, are you, are you with us? I believe she's voting aye as well. Did she, did, did she say that? No, but she's uh, waving on her screen. So thumbs up, so I assume. Okay, thank you so much. Yep. Um, is there anybody that I didn't call? Well, Stephen will be in a, uh, obviously abstain because he's not here. Um, okay, well, the eyes carry and the motion's passed. Um, thank you so much, Kyle. Um, we can move on to the order of the new business, um, the Harbor Splash Dragon Boat. Uh, before, before we begin, uh, Donna, um, um, I believe, I've been on the Arts Commission for a few years now. Um, I believe I recall that we had considered the Dragon Boat Trophy in the past and I believe that the Arts Commission had voted not to accept it into the public art collection, but I could be wrong. So we're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to talk to Sabrina about that because if that happened, it would have been before I was chairman and before Sabrina was hired by the city. So she may not have direct knowledge. So we're gonna have to look into that, but. Um, Melissa um, knows about this boat because it had something to do with, and Melissa can correct me, they found it um, when they were cleaning out something, either downstairs in City Hall or I can't. With, the robot, with, the, with the remodeling. I, know, I remember because we, she, Melissa brought this up. Um, a while ago, but she did, it had something to do with placing it somewhere, what to do with it. Cause it's our, I think it's our property, but if Melissa can fix her audio, she can explain it better than I can. She's smiling. Yeah. I can give you some background on it. I think um, some of that information is a little, <coughs> crisscrossed, if you will. Sure. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. we hear you. Ha hallelujah. Okay. Sorry, my audio on my computer is wrong. I, I am sorry to interrupt. I think Diane was talking. I did work with this project. Um, this was right around the time when they were remodeling the big, large room in City Hall, which is now across from planning and zoning. Kyle, can you help uh, me with that? Community room. What? Community room, the yeah. community room. So they were installing bookcases in the community room and we were looking to possibly install it there, but other people were interested in putting stuff in those bookcases. And we thought that was the perfect place for it to go. I had gone to a different committee to talk to them about it and they really weren't that interested and didn't I don't remember I'd never been to that committee before and this was three years ago so I've forgotten what it was but no one had any plans of what they wanted to do in that room and that's where we wanted to put it and the committee I went to it had something to do where they were like a approving I want to say an architect for schools um, in that same meeting. So I don't know if Kyle can help me, but they were the ones who I had gone to and they had never indicated they were putting us back on the agenda. And at the same time, COVID happened. I have or no, uh, a I have lot no, of things. I have no okay. Of so, it, so I'm sorry. Do you know what's in those bookcases that they installed? 
I know as of, like, this is probably four years now. Um, to be honest, I've only been here for nine months, so I'm not an expert, oh. but I believe at the moment there's not anything in there because of COVID, but I may be wrong on that. So the bookcases are absolutely barren. I can tell you I was in the room today uh, setting it up for a meeting that I have to go to um, this evening that's in the community room. Um, what <laughs> Melissa just um, you know, kind of outlined, she outlined the background of it. And as I indicated in my information to Sabrina, um, there was a lot of changing that was going on at the time that the Dragon Boat Trophy was being considered. Mark, you're not crazy. Absolutely. It was before this committee be previously. I think in 2019 is when it was mm. um, originally considered. And Judith Bacall was one of the people who was part of the commission at that point in time. Um, it, it actually started out a long time ago. Melissa was there and Susan Wallerstein and so forth. So the consideration um, started a while ago and um, Melissa was, I think, the first person who um, told me what steps had to be taken to move it forward. So it came to um, a halt, as Melissa said, uh, and I never heard anything back again. And COVID happened. And yeah. clearly, working in the health department, <laughs> my, um, you know, my focus changed dramatically. And now that things are quieted back down somewhat, um, and the bookcases are still empty and the gorgeous dragon boat trophy is above my head. Um, I thought I would inquire again as to the status of the bookcases and whether or not the trophy can be safely contained in there. Can you tell me, Donna, um, where is this, uh, where is this piece now and who, who actually owns it now? It's right above my head, Mark, literally. It's sitting on top of the, the cases in my office at my desk. And, uh, and what, what, I'm sorry, who, who, who do you work for, work for again? I work for the health department, city oh, of do. Norwalk, the Norwalk Health Department, yes. I previously worked at the Maritime Aquarium. Mm -hmm. At the Maritime Aquarium, I was the uh, community service person and so part of my responsibility was outreach into the community which included me in the harbor splash and south norwalk business association we developed the business association develop harbor splash uh, which was an event that took place um, to encourage uh, basically tourism and appreciation of the water. Um, it went on for uh, more than 10 years. It included bringing flagship Endeavor. I don't know if anybody remembers that. We had the Australian flagship Endeavor here uh, in Norwalk for, I don't know if it was four or five day weekend. And that's when we kicked off the dragon boat races, the Hong Kong dragon boat races that same year. Um, and so dragon boat races were a part of Harbor Splash. It was, it was not just dragon boat races, but it was the most visible, if you will, piece that still remains of Splash. And it's really the most compelling piece because it's, well, it's gorgeous. Hmm. So, um, is the piece at this point, um, is it owned by the, the health department? I'm sorry. No, 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 Mark. It is, um, it is owned by the South Norwalk Business Association, um, okay. which is, I, I want to say it's defunct. I mean, clearly the business association in the format that that was the SNBA is is no longer operational. Um, the Dragon Boat Trophy um, 
and the funds because we were um, we had raised funds for the festival. Um, there was about, I don't know, close to $20,000 uh, in our Dragon Boat um, fund. And the business association before um, I, I'm not quite sure, I don't remember, decommissioned it or, or whatever went to the state and um, had it dissolved. We took that money and uh, with the exception of about, I don't know, $2,500 and uh, gave it to the business association, I'm sorry, gave it to the Seaport Association and to the Maritime Aquarium which were the two supporting organizations um, of the Harbor Splash Festival. Uh, then the business association was dissolved. The trophy and $2,500 in the instance that something would be needed to um, develop an exhibit behind the trophy or something along those lines. This is the same time as it was before the Arts Commission. Uh, we held on to that that chunk of change, and now we're in limbo. You know, I mean, we're back kind of in 2019. So, no, the health department does not own the trophy. Um, the the one time business association does. Yeah, and that was was that a that doesn't legally exist anymore, right? Correct. No, the four officers um, certainly are um, still around, intact, involved. If anything needs to be, um, you know, I'm only I'm only asking because, um, in a sense, that somebody would have to be donating this to the public art collection, and yes. essentially, then we, the city of Norwalk, would take ownership of it and then insure it and protected and so forth. Um, but, uh, and I'm only asking because uh, it was unclear to me who would be actually donating this. Uh, yep. the fact, if it exists and, uh, and no one, uh, you know, really has legal claim to it, then there's hard to say who's, who would be doing this donating. And I'm only asking from a proceed, eh, more like a process procedure. My whole thing is uh, very being very interested in, as along with Sabrina, is establishing a very clear process and protocol for art to be donated to the city, and um, and just making sure that you know we sort of adhere to that process and procedure, so that simply so that it's an easier process and we can, you know grow our art collection and, and, and have a very, and not have a sort of a willy nilly process, if you know what I mean. Absolutely. I can look into the uh, documentation, Mark, um, from when I dissolved the uh, organization, the business association, and see what kind of legal information, you know, what kind of legal language uh, is in that document, if that's helpful. Um, I can also look to the other three members who were officers of the business association um, who were involved in the, um, you know, the final process. Yeah, I think that would be helpful. I mean, we can certainly consider it from a historical artistic point of view. Um, I, I see the pictures, it, it does look very pretty. And, uh, and the fact that this commemorates races that were held in Norwalk um, you know, I believe it has historical value as well. Uh, we can certainly discuss it amongst our members in that respect. But I believe that uh, once we decided to move forward as, as a commission, I believe Sabrina would probably have to take that to uh, the legal department and the underwriters to, to discuss it from an insurance and a ownership point of view. Uh, did anyone... Uh, uh, any of our members have any questions uh, for Donna or, or comments about this or thoughts? Uh, the only thing I would want to say is this seems like a really good uh, kickstarter to the thing you and I have been talking about for a while, which is that public art inventory and rolling in some of what you're talking about with your, you and Sabrina's interest in um, creating a donation 
infrastructure. But um, you know, I, I support it just as a side note, and um, I say we go down this road absolutely. Yeah, it's interesting uh, what Donna, what Brian is is referring to is so. There's there's a a public art collection is, is what we call it that of public art that's owned by the city of Norwalk that the Arts Commission essentially has in its inventory and uh, I don't want to say controls but you know it's basically under our umbrella but there is public there is public art that is owned by the city of Norwalk that's um, you know under the purview of like um, historical commission and the board of education has its own art and so in theory you know this could be the department of health for all sakes and purposes that this could be part of the art collection that you have but still owned by the city do you know what i mean it's a it's technically all owned by the city but it's a question of you know who takes care of it and, and absolutely and i mean one of the reasons why i have lots of background information lots of um, um documentation about the festival itself which um you know is really a multi-pronged um event it was the the chowder cook-off started with um the sono splash with the splash festival because we had so many restaurants in south norwalk we wanted to get people walking around and involved in the um, you know, walking into the restaurants and sampling some of the chowders. And so there was there was that. We had artists who dance and sang on the streets. We had a gigantic dragon puppet that led a parade of all the dragon boat um, teams, which uh, were anywhere from 12 to 14 uh, strong. And, it, you know, so it built a lot in the community. Um, and I have a lot more information if anybody's interested, you know, in that aspect of what the Dragon Boat Trophy represents and some of the stories it can tell about South Norwalk and, and a piece of South Norwalk that went on for, you know, 12 years, certainly more than a decade and 12, 14 years is, is in actuality, how long it went on. What years were these? Uh, 1995 straight through and then then go ahead and add on from there. My math right now is uh, at a loss. Hmm. OK. Um, so I think I think we have a few questions uh, that need to be answered before we can um, move on this uh, for approval. Um, I'm, I would propose that we table this for now until next month and uh, give us time to go back with Sabrina and consider. And if you can then from your side, Donna, um, work on uh, you know, the ownership and who would be actually donating it from that. If you could explore it from that point of view, I think then we can, uh, we can really uh, move on this next month. Are you open to that? That would be fabulous. And if there's anything, I mean, aside from looking into the, the ownership legal part of it, if there's any other information that would be, you know, of interest that would be pivotal in answering some of the questions that committee members might have, please let me know. Um, because honestly, <laughs> I have a lot <laughs> of information. Somehow or another, I became the keeper of, you know, of all the files and, you know, all the pictures thank god i have most of those on thumb drives but um this is um and if anybody wants to see the trophy you know live and in person i'm more than happy to um walk it over to city hall at some point not in the rain but um at any other point i think i remember this question from last time who is the artist do we know that Yes, Rand Arowitz, R-A-N-D Arowitz. He uh, is a um, guy who, a gentleman, an artist who um, I came to know because he was a boat building volunteer. He was one of the volunteer staff at the Maritime Aquarium. 
his job in real life was um, as a sign maker uh, in Ridgefield. Um, and he did authentic, you know, kind of old time Ridgefield signs, which is where all his, you know, hand carving and um, the real gilding um, was practiced. Um, so um, that's, you know, kind of the quick answer. So I was thinking um, this report uh, that you have, um, the summary that we're seeing here, um, we can uh, accept that into our minutes and um, we can uh, email that to all of the commissioners and, um, and then we will have that. And then, um, we, and then I will uh, address this with Sabrina. Kyle, do you know when she, Sabrina is back in action? Um, I believe it will be um, by the end of June, early July, I'm not 100% sure. Um, just for this, Mark, I think we will need to amend the motion just because you're, um, you'll need a motion to table, but also amend. Yeah, the, I, I can't call for that. So okay, yeah, you, someone will need, yeah, someone will need to raise a motion just because uh, we didn't vote on it and we just discussed it and then a motion to uh, a motion to pass it to the next meeting as well. So we'll just need those two motions before we continue. To the I mean, we, we, yeah, I think we need to, to uh, just, yeah, we could take them. So I could ask for a motion to vote on it at the next meeting. I mean, we yeah. So first, I, I to vote on it. Yeah. So first, I believe we we'll need to ask for an amendment to the motion right now, from approve the display to uh, something along the lines of uh, we discuss a uh, discussion of the display, and then you'll need to make another motion to uh, move it to the next meeting for a vote. Yeah, because I believe I believe. As far as I know, once once we've discussed it, then it can be added to the agenda of the next meeting as old mm -hmm. business. Yep. Yep. Okay. So, do we have a motion to table this uh, for future discussion? Um, Brian Casper, I, I motion to table. Yeah. I'm sorry. This is Melissa, and I also feel like we need to decide where we're going to put it if we do take it um which i'm all for taking it I, I think it's a great thing but i mean i think we should explore also putting it back in that community room like we originally thought i think having it in the community room is a great idea and then with some of the information on the history of it yeah so we i we also need to really talk about this from a point of view that really who actually decides on what goes in the community room. I don't know mm -hmm. that for certain. Uh, that might be a city hall. Um, if, yeah, if you don't, but, if you don't have permission for it right now, I'd recommend tabling it till the next meeting to for that um, discussion and asking permission before. Uh, I'm sorry, asking permission within the month and then figuring out if this is where I, so I would recommend voting if you want to put it in uh, the community room. And then you would ask permission um, if that would be a place that would be reasonable to the commission. And then who 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 would actually decide on that as far as? Um, I'll know, ask Sabrina, you know? but I believe I believe the uh, building administration would probably be the uh, people who would decide on that. Okay. Okay. I, so Melissa, uh, I. Did you make the motion or was that Brian? It was a little hard I to didn't make a motion. Make a motion to table. I just made a comment. Okay, got it. I made the motion to table the discussion till next meeting. Okay. Or have more information, I guess. Okay, thank you. Was there a second on that motion? I'll do a second. Okay, thank you, Elizabeth. Um, and in that case, I, I'm going to vote aye on tabling that. And, uh, and look to work with Sabrina on, uh, to get some more information. Um, uh, Jana Evelyn. Uh, how do you vote, Janet? I vote I agree. Thank you so much. And Nori Gruden. I to table it. 
Okay. Uh, Mel uh, Melissa and Brian, uh, how do you vote? I, I, I vote to table it. Thank you so much. And Brian, Brian Casper, I vote aye. Okay, thank you so much. Um, I don't believe there was any other voting members that I didn't call, uh, but the eyes carry. So we will uh, we'll revisit this. Uh, do we have a motion to uh, to consider this for approval next month for the agenda? I'll make a motion to approve it next month. All right, thank you, Elizabeth. Do we have a second on that? Brian Casper, I second this motion. Okay, thank you so much. I'm gonna vote aye on this for next month, adding it to the agenda for next month. Hey, um, Bob A's here, I, I joined late, sorry, Bob. Oh, hey, I'm but sure I, I recognize it, Robert Abriella. Um, bring, just to bring you up to speed, we have a, we just passed a motion to table this item for future discussion. And now we're considering it for at, adding it to the agenda for next month to approve it. But there is some more research that needs to happen. Essentially, this is a trophy that commemorates races they used to hold in Norwalk that are called dragon boat races. And this is a trophy. It's an artistic trophy that was uh, designed by an artist, Rand Arowitz. And um, you know, we are considering uh, bringing this into the Norwalk Public Art Collection under the Arts Commission. and. Uh, it's been suggested that we should display it in the community room at City Hall. So that, that's what we're dealing with right now. Okay. That's great, thank you. Um, okay, so we are in the middle of a vote. Um, I voted aye on, uh, on adding it to the agenda for next month. Um, we'll just go through all the names. Uh, Jana Evelyn. Aye. Thank you, Janet. Uh, Nori Gruden. Aye. Elizabeth, this is your motion, so you're an I. Do you believe? Yeah, yes. Okay. Um, Rob, how do you vote? Yeah, I. Okay. Um, Nori Gruden? I. Can you hear me? I. Yes. Thank you, Nori. And, and Brian? Brian Casper. <laughs> okay, so we're unanimous. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to add this to the agenda. This is Melissa, and I vote aye as well. Oh, I'm sorry, Melissa. I apologize. So hard not seeing everybody in the gallery view. I apologize. Um, thank you so much. Okay. Um, Kyle, can you go back further up into the agenda? Yes, I can. Let me just find it. <clears throat> so can I, can I leave now? Uh, you you uh, you can if you want to. You can stay if I, you want to also. Well, I I would love to, but I have to go over to the community room for another oh. meeting. So <laughs> thank you. We're all in time over here. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Take thank care, Donna. You thank you so much for your time. Okay. Talk to you next month. Okay. Um, okay. We're going to move on to the committee staff updates, and now we'll turn it over to Nori Gruden for a budget update. Yes. So. We did not get, or I did not get the budget, but we had sent what money we had over to infrastructure to plan out. I think we had what, like $2,000 left to do a mayor's gallery exhibit. Correct. So I'm not sure what has happened since what the, what the progress is of that. So I'm going to turn it over to infrastructure. Okay. Uh, for okay, fair enough. Uh, so you still have to get the budget from Sabrina. Yes. Okay. Or whatever it was, because we have it from April, but not the current one. If we've set spent any money within the interim between since April and now June. Okay. But we knew how much money we ha would have with the expenditures that were pending. Okay. So, um, okay. So we'll have to pick that up with Sabrina by email. Um, Kyle, what is, is Sabrina, everything, is she just uh, on vacation? 
Uh, she just is getting married, so she's on her um, marriage and then honeymoon. Oh, uh, fair enough. Yep. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, so, from the communications uh, committee um, update, I really don't have anything to update um, other than uh, you know our social media has been just been been moving forward. Uh, you know, we're just posting every day, and um, and things things are looking pretty healthy on that respect. Um, I don't really have any other news on the communications for you. Um, Brian, do you have anything to update us on for the, uh, your committee I structure? I do. Um, and it's just, um, kind of a quick report on how the RFQ went, um, which is now closed. It closed on at midnight, I don't know, midnight, June 1st, or is it midnight, May 31st, whenever. Whatever. Yeah, um, we had a great response. I think if I remember last tally, um, it was 97 applicants, um, which is great. I, I did expect a little bit more, but um, a ton came in sort of on the last couple of days over maybe it was the Memorial Day weekend that, that tamped it down a little bit, but still 97 is a lot. Um, there I flagged just kind of an initial quick pass through um, I flagged at least 10 that are like, I mean, I'm talking top, some really top notch talent um, from all over the US, um, including people who didn't read the proposal request correctly and applied from Canada, um, but people from Hawaii, California, Colorado, obviously East, East Coast up and down. So a lot of really good candidates to review. Um, what I'm going to do after this meeting is shoot a message to everyone on infrastructure. I'd like to go over um, sort of the best of the best to see if we can start to narrow down to, we had originally budgeted for three. I'd actually like to maybe see if we can push it to getting proposals from five, um, which would put our budget, proposal budget, remember the stipend was $500 each. So it would put our proposal budget to uh, 2,500, 2,500. Um, I don't know if that's something we need to vote on or probably not. Um, it seems like I'm just kind of giving the reins on this. Um, but I think it's gonna be hard to narrow it down even to five. Um, and we've had, could you there's do mosaic. Could you do 300? Sorry? Could you do 300 a stipend on the 1,500 and then you'd get the five or you don't want to go down lower? I mean, we could, we certainly could. Um, that's something we can chat about infrastructure. I don't see why not. Um, you know, maybe I think we did say, I think we did say in the RFQ, we did promise 500. So that might be okay. a funny little dance. But then again, you know, from last meeting to now over email, Sabrina suggested that we raise our RFQ or sorry, the budget for this, this project from 25 to 50,000 to see if we get more talent. Um, so presumably, so presumably we actually have more budget to start with than I originally allocated for. Um, so I feel like an extra thousand bucks to get two extra, you know, yeah, it's worth internationally it. recognized artists is worth it. Also, Bob, there's a whole bunch of people who didn't read the RFQ properly, but we got a lot of sculptors. Um, and I know you're always looking for yeah, yeah. public art sculpture. We got some really, that's another thing too, that I think is worth mentioning that we now have a collection of at least 20 to 25 really good um, artists that we, I'm absolutely planning on saving their email addresses to put them into yeah. sort of our roster. Build, build, um, uh, build like a library of art, you know, art. Yeah, yeah that's great. which is something that we wanted to do, you know, we had talked about months ago. Um, yeah. So we have, you know, at least 50 artists that we can put into that bank to, I know we put out calls, but to encourage those people to put out calls, yeah. if it's sculpture specific to get sculptors to apply this. I mean, I can't wait to show you guys. Um, some people are like, how, how are y'all going to do this for 25 grand? Like, yeah. if you, <laughs> like some of the stuff people are putting out there, it's crazy. Um, we wanted to increase to have two more, how do we, you know, for the extra thousand, can, do we have to vote on that? Like, where do we, how does that go? Well, we had approved the initial amount, Sabrina suggested. We didn't even vote on it. Sabrina just said go. Well, it's, Yeah, I guess in, in theory, you'd have to, once you once you come back with the full plan. Okay. So maybe tell you what, 
the maybe top. what we'll plan on doing in infrastructure is we'll we'll pick our like number one top three and then we'll have our sort of like two alternates um that if and then maybe the next meeting we can bring that to the vote to, to add them into um into this and um get that rolling so anyway good news um it was it was really successful um and i'm really excited to, to see to see what we get because we got some some more stuff so yeah, yeah. um other than oh, that just, just sorry, saying that, fact, I, one thing i didn't tell you is that we did some social media uh boosting yeah. of the i forgot to put that in with the communications report but we did some social media boosting around the uh the call to action so uh hopefully that accounts for the 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 extra I did, I did see I, that was um, if I remember right, you were sort of chatting about it on Instagram. It was right before Memorial Day weekend, and I did see a bump in more local, local applicants. Because up until that point, I think I only had, if we're not including New York artists, um, maybe two, three out of mm -hmm. the probably forty I had at that point, um, yeah. that were local-ish, like Fairfield County. Um, yeah. And then after that, I, I definitely saw um, a number of others that had so, kind of. So these are that, that's a huge number, ninety-seven. So they're all going into the RFP. Like how how else out of social media, other than social media, how are they aware of this? Like that's a great well, turnout. Because I yeah, I, call I, for I, entries. Call for entries actually does their own email blasts when okay. they have live calls. Um, I'm I'm on I'm on there as an artist. It's actually really interesting to see this as an administrator. There's a lot of inside info here, but um, I'm on there as an artist, and I think every week I get an email from the website saying these are the calls that are up right now. These are the calls that the deadlines are ending. So in addition to our social media, I mean our 475 bucks that we spent on this, you know, was reached to their entire mailing list. Um, so yeah, so I, I think it was worthwhile for sure. Yeah, definitely. Good job. Good job on that. That's great. Um, but that's 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 it in terms of this. If anyone has any questions, please let me know. But like I said, um, I'm gonna drop a line tomorrow to my uh, infrastructure peoples, and we'll get um, hopefully something where we can narrow, nail this down in a meeting and find our find our five. We do like on the Google the Google Drive, maybe like post them there or, or how, yeah. How I'm gonna. There's a way where I can make um, other people jurors i just got to look into it a little bit where i can give make you guys make accounts you go and you just score everything you can okay. score every applicant and i'm as i'm trying to do if i can't do that i'll definitely bounce it out into like a pdf be like these are my top you know 25 yeah let's vote on this and see if we can nail we like sort of narrow it down to five that's what i hope to do anyone have questions and, and then what's what's the next step beyond that so um once we find these you know, our um, three to five artists, we will, I want to reach out to them. I want to sort of brief them on it. We ask for a proposal. Um, I'm hoping for a month turnaround on those proposals. And then my assumption is um, we then take those five proposals and as a commission, a full commission, we actually vote on them to find our one um, to then offer that, you know, and within their proposals is like what's your budget like what you know what do you need to get paid for this like all those nitty-gritty details um and then we can discuss that you know as a committee um and then hopefully have this approved before the end of summer um i know mark had expressed interest and in, he wasn't pumped about the uh the lead time all the way to july but i was giving ourselves plenty of runway because we have not gone down this road with the dot and their approval process hell if we can get it approved quickly and take this to dot and it can come back potentially we could have it installed by the fall um i'm no, not Brian, i i think you're doing the right thing I mean, i'm not counting my chickens before they're hatched i think you're doing the right thing look uh the process is in place with dot supposedly but this is the first one that we're we're doing yeah we want to do it right and we want them to feel good about it and uh yeah. and then uh, hopefully we get this done um you know It'll just pave the way for the next one. Floodgates, look out. Brian, as someone um, who works with DOT a lot, you're making the right decision, I can tell you that. I don't work, okay, with, their right. commission. I don't work with their art commission, but as working with the roads, I can tell you you're making the right decision. 
that was my assumption. I had heard from others that it, it was a long process because you're talking about state government. So yeah, um, as much as I want to see something installed at the end of summer, we're probably looking at next summer to be real. But yeah, so that's the next steps is deciding them. Once we have those three to five, voting on it as a commission, getting and then getting proposal, and then we're off to the races. Okay, great. Um, okay, very good. Um, anyone else have any uh, insight, questions, or thoughts on this before we move on to the um, the MLK lighting project? Okay, uh, in that case, um, I had got an email from Stephen Rust and just to update you. Uh, Stephen has been doing a great job on just seeing the entire project through as far as the spending the money on the lighting to light the, the work that, um, uh, that was done on the MLK uh, artwork. Um, he bought a, one of the light fixtures, which they installed as a test and they, they worked on the color temperature and they, 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 I was not able to attend, um, but that went fairly well. So now they ordered the additional fixtures. Um, he has a meeting set up with Peter Verderosa, who works for the city in some respect, I forget where, um, but they are going to meet with Peter and they're the city's contractor. And they're going to, I believe that they're gonna meet on Friday and they are going to make a plan to get these installed. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing how this comes out because I think that lighting our public art all, all of our murals and public art, I think is a really good thing for the city. So I, I'm looking at this as a, hopefully a test case that works out very well. Um, How does the electric get hooked up, Mark? Like where's, who's paying for that, the city? Yeah, it's going to be, it's going, the electricity is, ve it's very, very low power lighting, but it's going to come off of the facility itself that's a pump station that's run through, uh, you know, the uh, Department of Public Works. Okay. So it would just become part of their low, low voltage lighting or two twenty. Yeah, lighting? it's it's LED and oh, it's so very low voltage. Yeah, that's not pulling much. That's not no, nothing, and um, you know, very little. And uh, so it'll be a question of you know, in terms of the the future, like if this was a public mural and we'd have to figure out where the power and lighting would come from. It might be a case by case basis, but I'd like to, I'd like to see it be implemented more because I think it's gonna really highlight the art that we create. Um, moving on, did anyone have any old business to discuss? There was nothing specifically on the agenda. Bob, uh, you... Uh, this is really more, uh, I guess that's really what should be something we would consider next month as new business. Um, Bob had come to me and asked me if uh, we would consider um, highlighting this uh, new mural project that he's working on. Bob, you wanna tell us about yeah, that? Yeah, sure. So um, you're all mostly aware, I think, of the art park at Isaac Square over there. Jason Milligan has that um, that parking lot, and there's a lot of public art in there. So there's a, um, a, a fairly long wall. It's eight feet high. I want to say it's 100 feet, not as long as yours, Brian, but it's a long one. Um, and he has a disabilities group called Home Field that was been reaching out to him on doing a collaboration. So he asked me to work with them, and I designed a mural um, to work in collaboration with disability um, folks. And we actually started it on Sunday. Uh, it was actually a big day. We had, I think like 50 people there and all different types of disabilities, but they painted the background based on my curation. And now I'm painting portraits. And actually I can, if you let me take over the screen, I can show you a picture of like the, the comp market, if, that, if that's okay. Um, yeah, Kyle would have to give you permission. Oh, Kyle, okay. um, I can give you permission, but while we're here, um, I just think we need, after, after we go through this is fine. I think we just need to make sure we have a motion to, to go out of order and then put this in to introduce for next meeting and new business, just so that we have it 
proper yeah. in the rules. But I assume you guys are going to do that. But let me, Bob, if you want to ask permission to share, I think I can give it to you. Can that start share while others are sharing? So I'm okay, not... uh, sorry, I'll stop sharing. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> All right, let me just open this up. Okay, try this. Well, uh, to Kyle's point. Um... Oh, so. There's... Yeah, so look, look at, he, he, I went to Mark and I said, basically, look, I'm doing this mural at no cost. I'm working with this disabilities group. Um, depicted here in this mural are, uh, we'll call them legends of soul music. There's two that have disabilities. So we have Ray Charles and Stevie Wonder, and then Aretha Franklin and B.B. King overcame obstacles in their life. So really the underlining theme is overcoming obstacles. It's in collaboration with this disabilities group. So I'm doing this mural um, uh, and I thought it may be good for the Norwalk Arts to Commission to kind of have this as a feather. So, you know, when I write up on the wall, um, the efforts on this, I'd love to be able to write you know, I curated it, um, you know, on behalf of Norwalk Art Commission in collaboration with Homefield for, you know, people with disabilities, something like that. Like, I'll write that up. So it'd be great, I think, for us, for the commission to, to kind of have our stamp on this, that it's a Norwalk Commission sanctioned mural. Again, it's still, it's going to happen with or without that. So I'm kind of offering that up as a way for us to get our name more out there from a commission standpoint. Well, so um, to Kyle's point, um, Kyle, so you're saying for us to uh, even think about this, we should make a motion for us to consider this? Yes, so you'll need public comment on it, or at least the ability to have public comment. And because this wasn't on the agenda for this meeting, you'll have to introduce it at the next meeting. I understand. Yeah. Bob, what's the time frame of your project? I'm just curious. Uh, the background's done and Stevie Wonder's done. So I got three more portraits to go. So I'm probably, it'll be done in two weeks. Okay, so I I, I love the idea and I, I, I appreciate that you would consider the Arts Commission for involvement. I think that by the time that we could yeah. legally consider it and, uh, and, and vote on it, uh, the project's gonna be over way done um but uh you know why don't why don't we talk about this offline and we can see about introducing it as a an item for discussion on the next meeting but i i think that uh, i think that at that point the ship will have sailed anyone else have any thoughts on that i believe janet has her hand raised um possibly uh, Shannon Dillon. Yes, yeah, so um, I have to jump off the meeting. Um, so I wanted to let you guys know that um, I'd be leaving. I don't know if there's anything else we need to vote on. It doesn't appear that way on the agenda. No, other than adjourning. Yeah. All right, so. Um, fair enough. Fair enough, it's okay All if right. I jump off, yeah. Not a problem. Janet, have a great night and thank you so much for your time. You're very welcome. Yeah. Okay. Um, is is there a motion on this uh, from anyone in the commission? Is the, uh, is the motion to do it uh, to discuss it next meeting? Yes. That would be the our only motion at this point. Okay, then I'll make a motion to discuss the mural uh, at the next meeting. And by the way, Bob, it looks great. Thanks. Yeah. So I, I plan on doing like a ribbon cutting. So we're, you know, invite the mayor down and the whole disabilities group will be there. We'll, we'll probably get some press out of it. So, you know, not a bad way to get our name in the paper too. Uh, the only thing, uh, I, I know that, that that wood wall is, is, is temporary, correct? Is there yeah, any plans well, for, you know, hopefully is there any plans for what happens beyond that? No, but 
but um, Jason definitely repurposes the panels, so he'll repurpose it. I'm sure, like on one of the fences somewhere else. So he'll 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 because he did that for the Jimi Hendrix one. He repurposed that over by Factory Underground. So yeah, you know, I hate okay. to see anything get destroyed, and I, I, he he'll he'll find another place if that building gets sold and things happen. Yeah. All right. Is there a second on that motion? I second the motion to discuss this. Okay. Um, okay. Then uh, we'll we'll take a vote on that, and I'll I'll vote aye on that. And uh, Brian, you are an aye. Aye. An aye for an aye. Um, Melissa Matuska. A double thumbs up from Melissa. Uh, Nori Gruden. Aye. Okay, thank you. And uh, Elizabeth? Yes, I'm an aye. Okay, thank you so much. Um, let's see, how many eyes do we actually have right now? Ja Janet left prior to the vote. Do I, do I vote, Mark, or no? Um, I don't know. Kyle, what do you think? I think Bob can still vote. Do we still have a quorum is the question, though. Right, shake um, yeah. no. <laughs> yeah. I mean, guys, honestly, like, no skin off my back. The mural's going to happen, right? So it's all going to happen. So if you guys want, you know, no, the commission. No, it's not, it, right? it's, not, it's not that, Bob. It's a matter of legality. It's only a matter of I legality and process. It's not a question of whether we want it or not. Uh, I, it's next to my house, so I'm, like I'm good. Scoongeely. I want to get that t-shirt. <laughs> okay, so you and I, we're going to, we'll, we'll, we'll discuss it next month. Although, okay. you know, we'll, we'll see, we'll see where we stand next month. All right. And then, yeah. Mark, I think just before we adjourn, we just need to um, set a motion for the minutes to be out of order. Uh, since, just because we, this is new business that we introduced at the end of the meeting. And then uh, you should be good to adjourn after that. Okay, so we need a I motion. motion to do this out order. <laughs> Thank you, Brad. <laughs> All right. Is there a second on that motion? I'll second it. Okay. Uh, okay, so uh, this is Mark. I'll vote aye. And uh, Robert Abriola? Yeah, I vote aye. Melissa Matuska? Double thumbs up for Melissa. Um, Nora Gruden. Aye. And um, uh, Elizabeth, uh, it was your motion, I believe, right? I second. Oh, you're, so you're an aye? I'm an aye. OK, thank you. Brian so much. for aye. Thank you, Brian. All right, so, so we will, uh, we're covered on the uh, going out of water. And I'm sorry for we went out of order. <laughs> Yes, uh, everything is good. Sorry about that, Mark. I just that's okay. Uh, point of procedure is important. You know, we're not the Department of Transportation, but we like to be <laughs> Great. a bunch of artists. You know, what can we do? Um, <laughs> do we have a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn, please. Okay. Do we have a second on that? Nori Gurdon, aye. Okay. Bob, you're, you're an aye, I believe. Aye. So I'll vote aye. And um, right, for aye. Thank you so much, Melissa. Double thumbs up. No, just single thumbs up. Okay, we got double. Now we got three thumbs. Good. Um, and Nori? I second it. Okay. Oh, so you, thank you. So that's an aye. Okay. Okay, the eyes win. We're saying good night. Peace out. Bye. Thanks, uh, Brian. I'll follow up with you offline and, and Robert as well. All right. Thanks, guys. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a great month and I'll see you soon. Hopefully. I, I hope that we could get to meeting in person one of these days, just as an FYI. That's a personal thing. I just hope we can see each other in person one of these days. Yeah. I know. We're all being safe. All right. Good night, guys. Take good. care.